Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and we're also going to look at the big the tech stocks as well. So the market has been in a roller coaster the last three trading days. You can see here on uh, started off on uh, early this week where we basically hit the all time highs. And yesterday we got absolutely hammered in the market, mainly due to the uh, fact that uh, the Federal Reserve is uh, planning to uh, to uh, raise rates earlier and uh, also cut, cut its uh, quantitative easing. And that really spooked the market. However, it did not really spook the market that much. I would expect if uh, uh, news like that would definitely pull this uh, market uh, much lower and much faster than it actually did. So that is actually a very good thing. However, we did fall roughly uh, 3% the last three days. And that, that is a fairly big fall for uh, for the S&P 500 and uh, NASDAQ even worse, that's over 5%. But we have found uh, support down here at the 50 moving average. And we actually rallied about the 20 exponential moving average earlier today. And then we settled just underneath uh, the opening. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD has crossed the signal line. So that is a bearish shine. So we are, we can see that RSI, it is flat, CCI is flat, stochastic is also bearish, and we are underneath the middle of the bullish band. So we may stick around here, go sideways. We could also break down from here and head towards the bottom of the bullish band. That is just above the 100 moving average. Or we rally above and take out the previous highs from this uh, today's session and head towards the 5,000. Those are all. Uh, those are basically the three scenarios that may happen here. If you look at basically at this trend, we're still in a uptrend, and occasionally we have pullbacks towards the 100 moving average, and then we also have pullbacks towards the 50 moving average. I, this kind of looks like uh, this kind of looks more like a pullback to the 50 moving average at this current stage. If um, for example, the sell-off here in, in December, just before uh, the Christmas rally, uh, was uh, far more aggressive uh, than we have seen um, uh, seen the last three days. And the news here is basically really bad. Uh, Federal Reserve changing its monetary policy, that's a very big deal. But the market at this current stage has not reacted in the same fashion as we have seen in these pullback. So um, I'll be looking out for basically this rally here. And if we break below here, then it's uh, most likely will head down towards the 100 moving average. But we have tested the 100 moving average last month twice. And we have to go very, very far back until we basically see a testing of the 100 moving average three times within just a span of one month. We tested it here. Uh, once here and again once here and so on but it's more it kind of looks like that we are just having a pullback towards the 50 continuing um, in the same manner that we have done for it's basically the last two years so if we look at the nasdaq we can see it is uh, testing the 100 moving average it has fallen from the highs, it fell roughly 5.57%. And it kind of looks like we have bottom in the NASDAQ. If we um, pull further from here, then we will test the uh, 150 moving average down here at uh, uh, 1500 and uh, give or take 1500 and uh, uh, 15,343. Uh, but that is uh, at, at this current stage, not that very likely. We may go and test that and then bounce, or we uh, we uh, basically build the base here and then rally, or we take out the previous size from the day and then go towards uh, 17,000 or the previous all-time highs. We are kind of trading within a within this square at this current current stage, uh, where the lows, very lows, are 15,500, give or take. And the very highs are up here at 16,700, give or take. So um, at some point, we will break out from here. Um, I don't think that we are going to break down to the very bottom. Um, 
due to the fact that um, we should have seen a lot more aggressive selling uh, from the news that received yesterday than we have had. Uh, it may be later on, uh, later on th- uh, this year when interest rates are going to be increased and so on. But the news of that was probably expected from a market. It did get, get spooked, but um, it has not had the effect that I expected it to have. I, at this point, I would expect to, twice this in testing the 200 moving average at this point. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is, uh, it is bearish. The RSI is bullish. CCI is bearish and the stochastic is bearish. And we're basically at the bottom here at the bullish band. We have tested the bottom of the bullish band and bounced from that. And last time we did that, you can see right here, we went all the way to the top. The same here, nearly all the way to the top. And um, usually when this basically tests the bottom of the bullish band, it technically rallies before continuing down or changing back towards uh, uh, the upward trend. So. Uh, it will be really interesting uh, to see what happens tomorrow. There is uh, uh, important news that also get released and then most likely will have a major effect on the market. Uh, if you look at the major stocks in the in the NASDAQ industry, we can see that they have been um, really falling hard uh, recently. So Amazon, which has basically been trading sideways for basically a year now, half a year now, uh, is at the bottom. So uh, if we go lower from here, then we'll basically go significantly lower and then the industry will also um, continue. But Nasdaq, uh, the Amazon will most likely turn around here and head back towards the previous highs as it has been trading within this area for a really long time. And will most likely go back towards the very highs, and that will be positive for the for the Nasdaq. The same go for same goes for Facebook. It has really fallen the last few days, and today it rallied in more than two percent. Uh, and it looks like it will continue rallying up towards three hundred and fifty. That will basically be the top here at the of the Bollinger Band. If you look at Tesla, that has also been battered the last three trading days, but it is still a stock that is uh, way overvalued. I will. I tend just to stay away from this because it's like uh, trading cryptocurrencies. You look at the PE value for, for Tesla, it is just, it's just ridiculous. Up like, like three, uh, three to 400. And um, that is no way that this company is valued at that point, at that, um, or this stock is, um, is probably valued. But it is a stock that people uh, buy and hold and they're not willing to sell it. And so it will just continue going higher and, and higher and have these massive swings. So at this point, it had uh, it fell down towards uh, roughly uh, 1,200 and then uh, rallied after that. And that's a very promising sign uh, for the stock tomorrow. If you look at uh, Microsoft, it has also broken the 100 moving average and it is not that likely that this stock will go significantly further. If we go then the 150 moving average down here at roughly 303, it should be the very bottom of uh, this market. And I'll basically buy quite a, a lot of this stock, as which I also already have. We can see that it's very overstretched and approaching oversold uh, condition. And that is a very rare thing for Microsoft. So if you look at Netflix, it has been battered. It is down roughly, it went down all the way, more than 20%. At this point, current stage is down 19.60, uh, 86%. And, uh, and I would not be surprised if this also started rallying from this point. So that is a significantly drop for, for Netflix, which will also be uh, on my radar, radar tomorrow. If you look at the bullish band, we are way outside here. We are on the edge of being oversold. And um, most likely, if you look at the other, um, at, uh, at the lower time, time frames, there's still uh, selling occurring here, but it's also just falling off a cliff and would definitely see this go sideways and then continue to the upside. So last ne- next here on the list is uh, Apple, and Apple has also uh, fallen roughly 6% from its highs, hovering just above the 40 exponential moving average. And um, 
yes, we're basically at the bottom here of the bullish band, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Apple bounce from basically the lowest point here at 168. That is the lows here, and if we break that, then we are going to test the 50 moving average at 164. But uh, a bounce from the you know, 40 exponential moving average, that should be uh, quite possible. Uh, the technical indicators, otherwise, MACD is bearish, um, RSI is flat, CCI is flat, and stochastic is bearish as well. And finally, we have Google, which has uh, really fallen hard from its highs. It is down, was down roughly 9%. And uh, we have broken through the 150 moving average. We tested the 150 moving average yet again today and then got rejected. So uh, we could see this fall towards the 200, which is down here. Uh, but uh, this is Google and uh, I would definitely not short this company and I would not bet against this company. It is, uh, it is uh, very likely that it will basically bounce from the 200 moving average as that, that also was the previous lows over here. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that it is on the edge of being oversold, significantly overstretched here, and uh, really exciting to see what happens here in, in tomorrow's session. So, hope you find this helpful. You're one supporting channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.